In this video, let us see about the residual current circuit breaker which is also called as RCCB. Let us see what is the need for RCCB, its working principle and what do you mean by sensitivity and how to test the RCCB and what are the different types of residual current devices available. What is this residual current circuit breaker? Basically, it is a protection device. So, whenever there is a earth leakage fault, this RCCB can easily deduct the earth leakage fault. And the main advantage of using this is that it protects the human being from electrical shock. The basic principle behind RCCB is Kirchhoff's current law. So, according to this law, the sum of the current entering a node should be equal to the current leaving the node. So, in this case I1 and I2 are entering the node. So, this should be equal to I3. So, this RCCB will continuously check the current between the phase line and neutral line. So, here you can see AC supply is supplying a load. So, this load will draw some current. So, here one current will be there. It will pass through the load and it will be returned back. So, RCCB will sense the difference between these two currents. Under normal condition, these two currents should be equal. But whenever there is a fault, Suppose here there is a fault, a part of the current will flow here. So, due to that the current through flowing through the phase line will not be equal to the current flowing through the neutral line. There will be a difference of current which is called the residual current. So, RCCB will sense this residual current and it will trip the breaker or the breaker opens and open the circuit. Why do we need residual current circuit breaker? Already we are using MCBs for overcurrent protection. That is whenever there is a fault, uh, MCBs are uh, good enough to isolate the circuit. But the problem with the MCB is that they are unable to detect small earth leakage current. So, to protect against earth leakage uh, current, you have to use a RCCB. The main advantage is that it protects us from electrical shock. So, this RCCB is available both as a double pole one for single phase supply and as a four pole one which can be used for three-phase supply. If you see the graphical symbol for a double pole, it will be like this. The, uh, the symbol shows that it is sensing the current in both the lines and here this is for four pole RCCB. Next we will see the current rating of RCCB. So, here it is specified 40 amps and 63 amps. It means that this um, RCCB can carry this much of current. So, the standard current ratings available are 25 amps, 40 amps, 63 and 100 amps. Apart from this, there is an important parameter for RCCB called sensitivity. So, which is... Uh, this sensitivity refers to the residual current. So, you can see here it is for 25 amps sensitivity can be 30 milliamps, 100 milliamps or 300 milliamps. So, for uh, if you take this one for 40 amps current carrying capacity the sensitivity is given as 30 milliamps. The 30 milliamps refers to the sensitivity of the RCCB. It means that it indicates the residual current. So, when the residual current is uh, around 30 milliamps, this particular tripper will trip. 
the main objective of the rccb is to protect the human being from electrical shock this chart shows the relation between the milliamps of current that can flow through a human body and its effect on the human life so when 1 milliamps of current flow through the body you might feel a sensation of uh, current but you see here for 30 milliamps suffocation may occur in the person so it varies from 1 person to person depending upon the resistance of the body and also whether you are dry or wet that will also change the resistance of the body so the sensitivity level depends upon the application suppose if you are in residential area or wet area it is always advisable to use a lower residual uh, current or lower sensitivity so 30 milliamps means it provides a high degree of protection against electrocution because in residential area the safety of human person is more important and the leakage current will be usually less so in such cases we always prefer 30 milliamps but you see this uh, model here the leakage current or the sensitivity is um, is 100 milliamps so this type of um, rccb can be used in industrial applications where the leakage current can be high and uh, if you go for a lower uh, rating of sensitivity it may lead to nuisance nuisance tripping it means that it uh, the rccb will be continuously tripping and it will affect the production process so in such cases it is necessary to go for a higher rating another thing is uh, 300 milliamps is normally uh, preferred in places where the possibility of electrical shock is less whereas it is necessary to protect the uh, area from fire so in such cases only 300 milliamps will be preferred so this chart will show you the residual uh, residual current um, and the time period at which the breaker will trip so you can see here when it is 30 milliamps it takes um, uh, 300 milliseconds to trip whereas when the current increases so as the current increases the tripping time should be low for the safety of human being next we will see about the test button available in rccb so you can see a symbol t in the test button so this is used to test whether this particular rccb is in working condition or not so once you press this button uh, an artificially an earth fault will be created inside so the breaker will trip if it doesn't trip it means that the rccb has to be replaced or it is not working properly so it is advised by the manufacturer to test the rccb at least once in 6 months some manufacturer even recommend to test every month next we will see the limitations of rccb usually they are designed to detect the residual current they cannot detect the overload current so in both the lines if the current are same residual current will be zero so rccb will not work so they can only detect when there is a residual current so normally it is advised to use a mcb after that you will use the rccb or both should be connected in series so mcb for overload production and rccb for the residual current or earth leakage fault protection so the single phase main distribution board wiring we have seen in the second video so if you want to include the rccb you can connect 
the RCCB next to the MCB connection. The other thing remains the same and the output of RCCB is connected to the loads. So in this uh, read electric vehicle channel, I have already covered the topics in power electronics, solid state drives and basic electrical engineering and now uh, house wiring topics are covered. So about the components used in main distribution board and how to weigh, uh, wire a main distribution board, what are the nameplate details available in a MCB, about all the protection devices will be included in the house wiring playlist. If you have any queries, you can um, mail to readelectricvehicle at gmail.com or you can specify in the comment section and give your feedback about the topic in the comment section. Next we will see about the different types of RCCB. So in this model we can see here a sine waveform is shown in a box. So this represents that this particular RCCB can only deduct the residual current if it is in sine shape. So the shape of the residual current is sinusoidal, this RCCB will trip. But today most of our loads are non-linear because we are using power electronics everywhere which will draw only non-linear current. In such cases the residual current will also be non-linear. So this type of RCCB will not be able to deduct the non-linear currents. So this symbol will be represented in the RCCB to show that uh, the particular RCCB will deduct what type of current. Let us see the symbol for other types of RCCB also. So here you can see two waveforms are shown here. One is a sinusoidal one, another one is a rectified DC waveform, something like that it is shown here. So here uh, in another one, different waveforms are shown. One is sinusoidal, then uh, it is like a DC waveform, it is a smoothened DC waveform, high frequency signal. So this type of... Uh, waveforms can be detected by this particular RCCB. Usually it will be specified by the manufacturer itself. So now let us see what are the different types. So the type AC will detect only when the residual current is of AC. So if it is like this pure AC waveform, it can be detected by type AC RCCB and for uh, type A can uh, detect both residual AC current as well as pulsating DC current. So you can see here when it can detect this waveform as well as when the waveform is like a rectified output it can sense it. Type B can sense residual AC current, pulsating DC current as well as smooth and DC current. So type F, it is mainly used when single phase inverters are used because uh, it will have some harmonics which can be easily detected by this type F. So depending upon the application, you can choose your RCCB. Sometimes it is uh, necessary to operate with high frequency application and sometimes with uh, more harmonics. Like if you use a solar inverter, your harmonics level is going to be different. And uh, for um, railways application, the requirement will be different. So for each cases, we can use different type of RCCB. So if you use a type AC for a solar inverter, it may not trip. So there is no use, uh, use of um, using a type uh, AC RCCB for a solar inverter. 
so let us see the different types of uh, rccb available so you can see here ac a f b is available in addition there are also some selective models so normally most of the manufacturer have type ac a f and b the in between uh, things are the in between models are specific to the manufacturer or uh, not all the manufacturer have the same name they have different sets of um, name for their models so you can see type ac means it works with ac current only type a means uh, it can work with ac as well as pulsed dc so here i have highlighted uh, for each load what type of um, rccb can be used so the points to remember here are rccb is mainly used to protect us from electrical shock and um, earth leakage fault and the sensitivity of 30 milliamps is usually preferred for residential application and there are different types like ac a b and f so depending upon the application you can choose your rccb if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and uh, share it with your friends these are the references i have used